Good afternoon, Sydney. Welcome back to Twitch Livestream. Here with myself, Sean Ray, and the very internationally talented Nikki Klein. We all often see her on Twitch and a few times today. And we've got two uh, Twitch newbies today uh, coming up here talking about uh, an AI concierge. Uh, Julian did a session earlier and uh, we thought it was a cool demo, so we wanted to bring him up on the Twitch stage. So I've got Julian and Steve. Why don't you guys introduce yourself to the Twitch audience? Hey everyone, um, my name's Julian. Um, I'm a solutions architect based in Melbourne, Australia, uh, looking after software and technology companies down there. Got a background in machine learning, and so I've thrown together this cool little demo. Hopefully, we'll, uh, the demo gods will be on our side and you'll be it's able to see how cool. it all works. It's going <laughs> to be sick. <laughs> all right, now, my name is Stephen, everyone. Um, I'm also based in Melbourne. I'm a partner of Solutions Architects. So I've been working very closely with Julian over here to build this uh, concierge experience, so it's been fun. Okay, cool. So we're going to kick it right off. We've got a demo to actually show you that we're going to run through. Uh, and the easiest way to talk through that is really to get into the tech and we'll just uh, get to explain al along the way. All right, so what, what you can see here on the screen is uh, the virtual uh, Sumerian experience. And just on the right-hand side is an information box. On the left-hand side is the actual deep land screen. So maybe, Stephen, I'll just get you stand out of the way here. Yeah, so course. the idea is this is something you can put in a reception area. And what you can see is it's, uh, it's detecting me here. It's picking me up. Um, actually, maybe I should take my hat off. But no, it got me there. All righty. So what it done is Julia. it's found me on the Welcome screen. Welcome to Shootster. Oh Let me God. check if you have any appointment. <laughs> Julian, I love it looks like you don't have any uh, appointment registered. I'm Please about it looks like what directory? Yeah, exactly. Now, I like that they've made a virtual me for this. What directory is it searching to find you? So, so I've indexed my face, right, already. Hello, but, Julian. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Shootster. <laughs> right. Let me check if now, you have Now, the issue is it doesn't have an appointment for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick to this this screen here where I've got my... Okay, so for in. the viewers uh, back who can't <laughs> see what we're doing, so we've had a, this is called a deep lens. Uh, it's basically a uh, machine learning camera that AWS provides. I'm going to need We've that registered box. Julian, who's walked into our foyer, and now we need to actually get a meeting. So often when you walk into buildings, you'll see these things where they take a photo of you and you have to register yourself. Oh so for gosh. safety and these other types of things. We're just working with Julian here. It's his first time on stage. He can't remember what his name all right, is. All right. But we are going to resolve that technical problem okay. soon. All right, so I'm going to take a photo. I might actually take my hat off so I can get a nice little selfie here going. All right, so I, I do that. Now I upload my photo. And what you can see here on the left-hand side of this camera is uh, at the very top of the screen, you'll actually see it's up, um, picking up a new model that's being pushed down. See that updating model? So in real time, I'm actually pushing a new set of faces to this model. Okay, so now if I walk in front of this, what hopefully should happen, it's gonna it's gonna get me and it's gonna get my new mugshot that I just Hello, registered. Hello, Julian. Welcome to Shootsta. Oh, there Let we go. Check if All, you right. Have any appointment. All right. That's All right. so now, cool. Now, All what's right. happened actually? I have found your appointment it's with found Stephen my appointment. Okay, Please so take a seat while I notify your arrival. Now, Stephen is my my host, right? Oh, so yeah. Stephen's our, our our colleague here on the stage. Now, what? The next phase of this whole uh, process is basically there's a ping to the, uh, the Slack channel. So we've integrated Slack. So Stephen's going to click. He's coming out in a couple of minutes. And what you can see here is we're, we're, we're pushing a button Julian, here. Julian, your host is coming out to get you in a couple of minutes. So the idea is now I'm waiting in the foyer, and then the host is, is due to come out. So, so maybe, Stephen, All you right, can. Uh, I'll come out. Hey, Julian. <laughs> How's it going? Nice hey, to meet hey. you. Hey, have you met Deep Lens yet? Uh, hi. <laughs> Stephen. Thank you for finally coming out. Julian arrived 48 seconds ago. It's a little bit rude. Like, Thank you for seconds. finally coming nice out. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so cool. All right. 48, 48 seconds. Best record. So could you add a new person to the directory on command as well? It's a very well? short Sh like, number of calls that? in your building. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do, we're going to actually, right. like, this is, this has never been done before. So we're going to actually get you to uh, take a selfie over here. Who wants to be the guinea pig? Uh, Nikki will do it. Nikki? Yeah, Nick, totally Nikki's Twitch do famous, it. so. So, Nikki, actually, just stand in front of the camera and see if it knows who you are. It's probably going to think that you're some other celebrity, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Does it know who you are? Todd. Wow. You look a bit like a Todd, apparently. Right, so... <laughs> a what? <laughs> we've got Todd. a bunch of Do people. Do I want to know? Right. Okay, let's, let's use that photo. So, now what we've done... We, see, we also have a question coming in, so let me see what it is. Okay. So I've got a question from the audience as well. Nikki's just right, going to check that. I just that. turned the sound off. I have found your appointment. Right. Now, oh, Nikki, you have an appointment. You're uh, in the system. So now if you walk in front of the camera, Nikki, let's try this. This is the moment of truth. Is it, is it going to be able to detect you properly now? Let's have oh, a look. Hang on. I'm not Nikki. Boom. 
See that? That Pick is so up. cool. <laughs> that is cool. You exist. You're in the system. All right. And just to give you an idea what's happening in the background here, if we, uh, if we look at the actual um, IoT feed here, so what we can see is we... The IoT thing. I think actually we call IoT things things. So that's actually a very good... Uh... That's right. So, so what's <laughs> happened here is um, it's picked up Nikki um, and it's uploaded Nikki's face. Here we go. So Nikki was there. Probability 99%. So what we're doing Excellent. is we're doing a... 99.9% .9 that you're yourself. <laughs> okay, Nikki. so we have a question. Yeah. Yogi's Nose says, looks cool. Will the source for the demo be available afterwards? The source code. Also a recording, would love to show this to a few here in the office. So yes, there will be a recording of this um, session, this and then will the source Twitch? code be available? So we've got a we've got a lab actually that Stevens helped put together to actually build the Samarian experience. So if you're in Summit, uh, do come by at the Dev Central. We've got a lab that you can try out on how to build this experience. And if you are not at the Sydney Summit and you wanted to get access to the Dev Labs, I actually posted a GitHub link to all of them on my Twitter yesterday. That's awesome. right. So you can do that virtually if you're not here. So cool. Um, and okay. just to give you a little bit more color of what's happening under the, the hood, we've actually got um, some step functions in the background. So maybe Stephen can talk a little bit about this. Can you talk about Thanks, step Brett. functions to if people who don't know? Of yep. course. So a uh, step function is basically um, an orchestrator for, for serverless architecture. So what it can do is that you could create a serverless cool. workflow that what you can see here in the screen is a, is a is basically a, a graphical user representation of the logic that is happening in the uh, in the Sumerian experience. So as you can, if you guys zoom in a little this bit, this is this kind of flow chart. Of course, yes. the green and it's really here. easy for uh, for people to actually extract this and explain. So okay. what you can see here, it first checks if the face is detected and if the face is known, we will then uh, greet the host and then we'll look up for an appointment. This. And then okay. once we got the uh, to this stage, we'll basically wait for the host to actually uh, pick up the notification. So when I press this button, I'm coming out now, the workflow will then continue on to the next stage. Now this ultimately will ba basically trigger the next stage in Sumerian experience, we'll pass on and greet the host the next stage. So this is basically managing your state between these different things. So I imagine we've got maybe some Lambda in the background, we've got Ab Sumerian. Absolutely, yes. And so Lambda, which is a function as a service, if you've been watching today, we've talked about it a few other times for the NIB chatbot earlier. Uh, and so this allows you to run some code in response to an event. And that is a stateless function. So you would often use something like step functions or a database to maintain your state through that workflow. Yeah. So in this scenario, I think if we go back into the, go back to the scene again. So press, just uh, can you yeah. lock, lock in? <laughs> on. Security is important. Remember yep, to lock yep, your phone. All right. Just press the button for me. All right. Coming out in a couple of minutes. We've actually got a couple of sessions going on here, gotcha. so we may actually have the wrong step function oh, that okay. we're looking at. Got it. Okay. But effectively, what happens is we can look at one that's been completed. So if we look at, uh, we go back to the, the the workflow here in the console. I think you got logged out. Is the uh, <laughs> did the I get logged out? Cool. All right. But we've there actually. We Oh, here oh, we go. Yeah, that's successful. Can you zoom in like one more? Can you yeah. hit uh, right. command plus? Yep. Yeah. There yeah. We go. So, there so if go. we look at something that succeeded, what we can see is that uh, the various stages have, have completed okay, here. Okay, so, so in this one, we can actually see on the chart that it's gone all the way through to the yeah. end instead of stopping halfway that's through. That's right, that's right. And so the idea with the step functions is it allows people to customize it. So maybe you want to unlock a door, maybe you want to you know, integrate uh, some sort of other IoT devices. <laughs> you know, you can really be quite flexible with this solution. Based on a person that shows up that we've detected as a that's yes. Right. So like we just pre-registered Nikki, like never knew her before. I yeah. can unlock all doors now. <laughs> and what about like if I'm new to step functions, you know, yeah. we've got a nice graphical kind of flowchart interface. Yeah. How, like, how did you build this out? Is this something that I need some kind of like new language to learn? Can I do it in the console? Do like, you know uh, Jason? Have you worked with Jason? No, I only know Nikki and Jason. <laughs> <Steven. laughs> yes, uh, so essentially, he's a good mate of mine from Australia. Of course. Yeah. So with uh, uh, with step functions, all the uh, arc, all the flow over here that you see is represented in JSON format. So okay. it's if you know Amazon, uh, if you know Jason, if you worked with Jason before, it's really adoptable. So it's really easy to pick up. And I understand we actually have a uh, state machine language uh, developed by Tim Bray, one of our distinguished engineers. Yeah. Uh, Tim Bray uh, was one of the original authors of the XML specification. Uh, he's like a very famous developer. If you can go and look up the state machines uh, specification language and it actually has everything that uh, step functions is using behind but you don't need to know, learn that language you can actually use the console and other things to actually build that out and if you just watched I just did a session on step functions with the uh, the product manager of step functions and it's all kinds of new features and integrations that step functions has beyond just 
Lambda and some of the serverless options. Actually, that's right. So we launched eight new ones, I think, at reInvent or around reInvent time. So now you yep. can uh, automatically uh, put data into things like DynamoDB and uh, work with other things like batch. So if you've got batch computing, you want to do high performance compute or some kind of analytics, all of that is now integrated uh, as a uh, function that you can call out into, sta uh, into step functions. You can functions. also download your step functions uh, workflow as a Docker image and run it locally. Yeah, yes, very cool. That is really cool. Super all cool. Right. All right, so we've got a few minutes left. Is there anything else you want to close out? Uh, we probably didn't explain deep lens enough. Yeah, what maybe, other technology you've got running in? Maybe I'll just come back to the, the deep lens because there's a really kind of cool thing with the deep lens, which is actually called the shadow. So if we look at what's happening here on the deep lens, we're constantly getting the feed of the, the messages coming through, but there's also something called a shadow. And the shadow is basically something that you can update um, and have it pushed to the edge. So in this case, what you can see is I'm saying, hey, here's a, here's a model file that I want you to go update. And on the deep lens, I'm polling every few minutes to say, hey, do I need to have a new version? And that's how it's so real time. We can just push and download that straight so to the edge. So if you were you know, in a place that had intermittent connectivity, maybe 4G, something else, you basically yep. have the shadow state. So you yep. can reprogram the device while it's not online. That's right, yeah. So, And we're using IoT Greengrass, which is a methodology to push not only the model, but also the Lambda code, which is written in Python. OK, we okay. have a question from the live audience. How much is a deep lens? You can actually buy them on Amazon.com in the US only at the moment. I think they're about $250. $250 but $200. Um, I'm hoping to also release a version that will run on a Raspberry Pi or the Jetson Nano, the new um, deeper sort of... Uh, um. So I've got a challenge for you, Julian. <laughs> We've already had two requests kind of now about how yep. do I get access to some of these things. So yep. I think you need to open source this code and put it out for I all do of us. I do have a notebook actually with some of the core algorithms here which I'll share. Okay. Cool. So, uh, look, we've had an overview. We've seen the AR concierge. We've seen it work. We've seen so a cool. register a brand new person. We've seen that Stephen can get down the 10 floors of his building in 48 seconds. Very cool. This is part of the Dev Labs that you can go online and register for outside of Sydney Summit. So please go online and uh, check that out. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Sydney Summit. Thank you, uh, Stephen Thanks, Sean. and Julian, for coming on Twitch. Thanks, guys. We'll Bye. be back Bye. shortly. Cheers.